Hi everyone, it's Evangeline here at E Trailer, and today we'll be taking a look at the Hollywood Racks Destination Four Bike Platform Rack right here on our 2022 Kia Carnival. So the Hollywood Racks Destination Four is great for when you want to upgrade from a hanging rack, but still have that quantity and that relatively low price point. So this gives you the stability of a platform rack and the ability to carry around multiple bikes. So we're going to take a look at some of the different features of this platform rack and we'll focus on the Kia Carnival. That way we can make a decision on if this is going to be the right fit for you, your bicycles and your car. So the first thing is we're going to talk about weight capacity and how our bike is mounted to this bike rack. We have a 35 pound weight capacity which is pretty normal for most of your bike racks. If you have extra heavy electric bikes though, this is probably not gonna be the right fit for you. The way our bike is mounted is we have three mounting points. We have two wheel straps, so one, and then two. And then the third thing is gonna be this frame mount. So this is a low frame mount with a 360 degree rotation. Depending on your bike's frame, this can move up and down, left and right, and even around to accommodate those bikes of different shapes and different sizes, an upgrade from the traditional hooks that hold it by the frame. So when you wanna take your bike off, you start at the wheel straps. You just reach over, press that lever, lift that strap up, and then swing it around so it's out of the way of your spokes. So that's one strap, and then we'll go over here. This is gonna be two straps. And then this is gonna be our third strap. So hold on to your bike as you do so. This could be the tricky part because you don't have much space between the bike and the vehicle. Press this lever, pull this strap out. So as you're holding on to your bike, you may have to just tilt it away just a little bit just to get some clearance there. There we go. And just like that, you can lift this over your mast. Good thing it's a short mast and you're ready to go on a bike ride. So you can already see how it can kind of be tricky. If you have a lot of bikes on there, it's gonna take some time to figure out the best way to mount and dismount all of them. Also, while we're here, let's take a closer look at the way things are made. So this is designed as our cradle. I like to call them the wings of the bike rack because they're designed to go downwards like that. You have the strap which can rotate depending on your wheelbase. This goes around your wheel, tightens down, and you have a little um, cushion over there just to give you some extra good grip and protect your wheels. The maximum tire width you can carry with these are going to be three inch wide tires. So if you have extra fat tire bikes, this won't fit with that, but usually three inches is enough. The maximum wheelbase you can carry on the wings of this bike rack is going to be up to 48 inch long bicycles. And then we had our frame mount here, which is my personal favorite part of this design, other than its affordability. This bike rack does not tilt away. So if you want to access your hatch, you will have to lower this mass. So we'll take a look at that feature later. Being able to tilt your bike rack away with the bikes on is a more premium feature you can find on bike racks like the Kuat Transfer V2 for bike rack. Okay, when you carry around a lot of bicycles on your car, behind your car, there's going to be a lot of space added to the end of it too. So measuring from our bumper right there to the end of the bike rack, which is by these nice white reflectors, we have a distance of about 39 inches. So you already have a longer vehicle. If you have a small garage, something worth considering whenever you back into your garage or try to park into a really tight spot. Don't forget that you now have a bike rack as well as multiple bikes behind you. Another measurement that is very important with the Kia Carnival is gonna be the ground clearance. Notice how we have a shank rise, so it's higher up at the end than it is at the front. So from the end to the ground, it's 20 and a half inches. Notice how the wings dip down over here to 16 inches of ground clearance. Compare that to where the hitch is. So the shank is only nine and about a quarter inches above the ground. So that's not much. 
when you go up those steep inclines like those driveways or hills you'll have to remember that and when you do pick out your hitch accessories please try to make sure you have a shank rise so that way your bike sit higher up off of the ground all right so the next thing we're going to take a look at is to fold this mass the way to do so we have this knob here and you want to rotate that knob and then that will allow you to lift this hook out of the way and tighten that knob back down that way it doesn't take up too much space and then just fold this mass down let's get all this stuff out of the way there we go and you have two options here you could use the wheel straps which i like to do sometimes or you could use the frame mount to secure it to the cradles i'm going to use the wheel straps so that goes around the frame, goes back in, and secures that in the stowed position. Now we are ready, or we can open up our hatch. You can see here how we have a decent amount of clearance between the hatch and the bike rack. We can go in there, grab whatever we need, whether it's our waters, our helmets, our bags. The downside to this is we had to take our bikes off and lower our mass. So something definitely worth thinking about. Now we're going to fold this up into the stowed or compact position. We have a clip over here. You're going to want to remove that clip and that will allow you to rotate this knob to remove that bolt. Just let that bolt hang once it's loose as you focus on lifting this up and against your vehicle. So just make sure it's lined up. You're gonna have to line it up yourself and then pop that bolt back in and then use that knob to tighten it down. This part is very important because you wanna make sure that your bike is not um, jumping around as you drive around. This could take some time though, so definitely think about that. All right, once this is secured, almost there, we're gonna take a look at how this sits behind our vehicle because this is to make it more compact, more portable. If you're not planning on taking your bikes out for a minute, this could be a good way to keep your bike rack on and ready. Closest point is gonna be from our bumper to the bike rack about four and a half inches. The length now added to the back of our vehicle is gonna be about, um, let's see, that's about 12 and a half inches. This is aligned with the end of the wings. What is it like living with a four bike platform rack behind your car? Well, notice how it sits low enough where it doesn't cover your rear window. That's nice to see. It comes right underneath where your taillights are, so they're still gonna be mainly visible. Now your backup camera and your license plate are gonna be covered. They're kind of visible through that opening over there if you look at them straight on. The good news is that your Kia Carnival has a 360 degree backup camera. So that's gonna help you out as you park into those tight spots, even though this will be mainly covered. If it's still gonna be a big issue for you, you can just keep this in the down position as you drive around. Let's talk about how this fits into our hitch. We have a two inch shank that fits into our two inch hitch receiver. We also have an anti rattle bolt and a lock. Hollywood Racks also has this thing where you can get the cable lock that fits right into that lock, secures both your bikes and your bike rack with a single lock. Now, what I do is because this is a bolt, you do need tools to tighten down that anti rattle bolt. So I use a three quarter inch socket and a wrench, makes it so much easier that way. I just keep that handy um, in the garage. All right, so the way that bolt works is it tightens down, secures that bike rack. So we're gonna do a quick shake test to show how that, um, to show how that fits there. So as I shake our bike rack to simulate that road movement, I'm really just moving the car at this point. And that's because that's securing the shank to the hitch receiver so that your bikes have a good ride overall. All right, so my personal thoughts about the Hollywood Racks Destination Bike Rack is definitely an upgrade from a four bike hanging rack. I like the stability. I like how it holds the bikes down. I still wish we had some of those ease of use features like tilting away with the bikes on, as well as integrated locks 
but this is an affordable four by platform rack so you kind of do get what you are paying for it gets, gets the job done you still have that good weight capacity and you have those nice features like that frame mount that can fit even your step through bike frames or your women's bike frames which is great if you want a bike rack that can tilt away you might want to take a look at the Kuat Transfer V2 4 bike rack that has an open goal post design, which makes it easier to mount and dismount your bikes. If you want something at the same price point, but is able to carry more bikes, you might want to check out the Kurt Premium Hanging Style Rack because it has that family friendly arms, but not the same stability as the destination. Hopefully this video helped you out with choosing what's the right fit for you and your bicycles. But this right here was a quick look at the Hollywood Racks Destination 4x Platform Rack on our 2022 Kia Carnival. Now we're going to go ahead and take it on our test course. First we'll start with the slaloms. This is going to show the side to side action. It's kind of going to mimic the movements that you'll see whenever you're driving down the road normally. Now we'll have the alternating speed bumps. This is going to be more so like the uneven roads and some of that uneven terrain you might be traveling on and see how it holds up. 